Hello internet. So as you know I am lazy but this is the best I could do. You can see the guitar clearly. I think you can see the frets. You can see my fingers and stuff like that. So um, I found this JPEG on uh, Google Image and it lists a bunch of chords and I thought I would show you me doing those chords because I was able to figure them all out real fast and uh, I'm practicing and I've been out of school so long I mean basically what I have to do is memorize these chords and I don't want to do that but I will have to do that and of course my guitar is out of tune, as per usual. Um, I had a talk with a friend, and we talked about how I might buy an uh, electric guitar tuner, but I'd wait till the end of the month, just because money's tight. And I wanted to talk about the issue of, uh, you know, those people who buy a hundred pedals because they just want to make their guitar sound cooler. So I don't want to just keep throwing money at the guitar because I'm not learning or not putting it in the work. But uh, I've had two people now say that you pretty much need um, a reference point and this electronic tuner. Like I was thinking, okay, so I learned how to tune with the little device and then I go to a show for like an open mic and it's like I have to tune my guitar and uh, everyone laughs at me because I'm using this device and they're like, oh, you don't even know how to tune your own guitar. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's all just memory and repetition and uh, uh, for the time being, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you each of the chords. Um, so, we start with my temporarily favorite chord E and um, so that's the fourth uh, something I forgot you take your thumb and uh, the thumb is supposed to be like in the middle of the back of the guitar while your other fingers are wrapped around so that way your other fingers are pressing more down from above uh, it's a trick that I learned on a Toys R Us guitar, and I just remembered it today. Um, and uh, it's helped a lot uh, in this little JPEG that I found on Google+. Plus. Um, so, okay. So, E, the fourth fret is the first one near the top. And then you go two, three, and I assume one means your index finger, two means your middle finger, three means your ring finger. So that would be this. So keep in mind I'm not in tune, and I turned up the reverb just because on my amp, I didn't pay a lot of money for the amp, trust me, it's second hand, and it's amazing, uh, but uh, I'm not rich. Uh, so I, uh, where was I? I'm sorry, I, I'm just not used to talking in general. And uh, it's great that I get to talk to you, camera, because uh, you don't judge me, except uh, when I get comments later on, after I've slept, but that's fine. Um, so this is, uh, I hope you can see my hand. I think I'm doing E here. And keep in mind it's out of tune, and I'll deal with the tuning later, and... Whoa, okay. So, someone told me my neck might, might be bent, uh, which would make it harder to push down on the strings, but... Yeah, I don't know. That made a lot
lot of different sounds that sounded distinct from each other and I don't know when I was hitting it right and if I'm only supposed to be hitting the top. I don't think anything is supposed to be muted. Uh, I guess the X's on this diagram indicate mute and the others indicate open. So that's E and I don't know what this bottom thing is. R5, R3, 5, R. Okay, so A. A does have a muted thing, which I didn't realize when I was um, doing it the first time. So the second fret and you go one, two, three. And then I guess you mute this. So there's A. And then D, which is the first one I ever attempted. And I thought it was so difficult, and now it doesn't seem as difficult. Uh, Start with one there. Oh, we're supposed to mute some strings. One there. Two there. Three there. first tried it seemed really hard. Um, so put the thumb in the middle of the back there. One, two, three. I think it's easier. No, I'll do it the right way. Oh, stupid weak pinky finger. There, I'll go like that. Hold that to That sounds like a victory song. Uh, and the camera, I know the camera is going to mess up the sound. Um, so C. C I also thought was difficult. It looks like it has a mute, but it doesn't look difficult, but let's see. Uh, so I have the mute there. Then we skip a string over to there. And then we go over to there. So let's try that. <laughs> saying in another video I made that the C didn't sound like C, but that kind of sounded like C. And now EM, I don't know why there's an E, oh it must be E major or E minor, but it's just that and that. And uh, that's got to be like the most basic Okay, so yeah, I think uh, something about this is like, I think I'm going to have to build up muscles in my hands. And I've always thought about how like working out, like walking obviously you, you get your arm, your, sorry, your leg muscle and like lifting weights you got your arms but and I know you could have that squeezy thing to get uh, your hands but I was always like how do you get hand muscles and I type and typing's easy for me and I'm always worried about like arthritis but 
yeah, I think this guitar is going to develop hand muscles if I actually stick to it. So, AM, so either A major, A minor, I don't know. This chart does not tell me what it is. Uh, da, da. Wait a No, we want that. Okay. And a muted string. And finally DM. I know I've been uploading long videos and sorry for my regular audience who expects one minute all bursts of insanity and I don't know why you like me and I don't know why I like myself. Uh, but no, I'm kidding, I love myself and I think some of my, my videos are funny and uh, I understand why you like me because I like me, la 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 um, that was the old peewee I guess uh, so this has two muted strings which I'll just not play those um, this is TM. See, my fingers have, um, they're not fat fingers, but they have little sticky outy like triangle things on them. And I feel those triangle things are getting in the way. So anyways, um, I'd like to keep working on this, but for the purpose of this video, I have achieved what I set out to achieve. So I'm going to unplug. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe someone can tell me um, if it's better to turn off the amp before unplugging or like order of operations there for the plug in before you turn on the amp or turn on the amp and then plug in I don't know thank you